Hey everybody, Teacher Mike here. I have an idea for an activity. In fact, I've been doing it for the last five months or so with VIP Kid, and I would really recommend it. Um, if things are either going too fast through your lesson, like you just need to slow the child down when you're going through the slides, or the child is very low energy, like they just don't want to read along on the slides, they're just kind of bored, um, either they don't understand what's going on, or it's just too easy for them, or the lesson is probably almost identical to what they had two days ago with the last teacher because sometimes I notice that in a certain level they'll be back-to-back -back lessons that are you know they're all talking about the same animals and it, it just gets boring I would recommend using the stopwatch feature on your iPhone um, I keep my iPhone next to my computer for backup Wi-Fi purposes I made a video about that about tethering having your USB cord ready to go in case the power goes out, your internet goes out, whatever happens. So it's always right here, but it's always a great backup to whip that out. And on a slide where there's a lot of words, especially the sight words, um, ask them, say, okay, read through it, and then go back and say, okay, let's see how fast you can do that. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! They will get it. They will understand what you're what you're trying to get them to do, especially if you're underlining the words or circling the words that that you want them to say. And I don't know why, but for whatever reason, especially the younger kids want to show you they're fast. They often talk about how they're the fastest runner at school, or they they're doing activities that require speed. Um, or if you're using this to slow the the lesson down, they've been reading too fast on the first 15 slides or whatever. Um, they like it. The older kids kind of realize that it's a bit goofy and silly, but the younger kids, it really is effective with them. I've never had a negative, like, oh, I don't want to do, no, I'm not doing this. They'll do it, and they'll, they'll try, and they'll get into it, and they'll kind of wait for you to go, whoa, six seconds, whoa, you know, and I always flip the phone around and, 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 and show them the time. And you can do this two or three times on the same slide, especially to slow things down. And obviously, every time they do it, they're going to get faster. So if the first time was 10 seconds, then 8 seconds, then 6 seconds, when you finally turn that that um, timer on on the last time around and they read through it correctly, then you I always hold my phone like this and give them this kind of suspenseful um, face where I go, whoa six seconds very good and then I give them a high five and I give them a star and that is a way to jump start the lesson or if you do it three times over and you kind of draw it out to slow down them doing rapid fire reading through slides or, or um, just being too quick um, it, it lets them it actually forces them to go over the material three times and they don't, even if they're a very fast reader and they, they're just blowing through, they don't ever complain. They don't ever say, let's just keep going. Let's not focus on this. I know this. They they want, they like the gaming activity of, of seeing how fast they can go. So highly recommend that activity, especially since your iPhone should always be right here to kind of uh, provide a backup in case of any kind of uh, internet problem. So tip of the day is the game of the day. Uh, try using your stopwatch, your iPhone to speed things up or slow things down. Good luck, guys. See you next time.